This is Carl Horrock and CMS 321 lectures for data structures and analysis of algorithms talking about Huffman codes. Here's an example that's very similar to the one I'm asking you to do in homework number three. Let's get rid of that ugly parentheses right there and get things on track. So we've got five characters that we want to turn into a data compression algorithm, which is what a Huffman code does. It's a very, very simple version of what a program like WinZip or TAR will do. Probably the easiest way to visualize this is to turn each character and its frequency into a node. And here we've arranged them from the highest, S at 0.27, down to W at 0.09. So we've sorted them in descending order. What you do, mechanically speaking, is to grab the two lowest frequency nodes, T and V, T and, uh, v and W in this case, connect them into one uh, conjoined node that has a frequency equal to the sum of the two individual frequencies. 0.17 plus 0.09 equals 0.26 for this combined VW node. Okay, now we look at our four nodes and we see that actually 0.26 is now in second place. The lowest two frequency nodes are T and U. We pull them aside combine them into one conjoined node, t comma u, combine frequency 0.25 plus 0.22 is 0.47, and now we see that if we sort these, it's tu with 0.47, s with 0.27, and vw with 0.26, lowest two frequencies, s and vw. So we pull that aside, combine them into one conjoined node, SVW, with a total frequency of 0.53. Trivial matter now to combine the top two nodes, STUVW, with a combined frequency of 100%. That is our tree for our Huffman code. Now you simply label each branch of the tree uh, in this case, I'm going 0 to the left and 1 to the right, 0, 1, 0, 1, all the way down the tree. So there we have our, our tree. How do you use it? Let's say we're interested in figuring out what the value of W is. It has a path from the root of the tree down to W that follows the zero branch, then next the one branch, and finally at the bottom the one branch outlined in red here. So W has a Huffman code of 011. If we were interested in, for example, T, we would illuminate this path from the root to the node T, and in this case the nodes taken in order are 1 and then 0. So this is how you mechanically fabricate a Huffman code. And based on the lengths of the bits uh, that are uh, the bit strings that are used for the various letters, you can calculate the percentage compression for this. That's it though. Very short, very sweet, how to mechanically create a Huffman code.